what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out so today we're talking about self-harm but more specifically why it's not okay to blame self-harm on others so let's talk I've been guilty in the past of blaming suicide attempts on other people, how their actions caused me to take an overdose, particularly when I was being cyberbullied by a group of people on Twitter and Reddit. It did make me overdose and it made me try and hang myself. It, I was so miserable. And everything that got said just really got to me and I posted a tweet saying I hope you're all happy now, bye. And really that's not okay. It's never okay to blame someone for your self-harm or suicide attempt. It, it's never okay to blame someone for your self-harm because you are the one taking, I'm going to use a blade as an example, and striking it across your skin. Yes, I know there are other forms of self-harm, I just can't really address all of them at the same time, so I'm going to go with the one that I experienced. Self-harm is a terrible, terrible thing. It's really hard to stop, and it can cause so many other complications. And then you have to deal with scars for the rest of your life. Self-harm is not someone else's responsibility. It's your responsibility. I think if you're able to accept that it, it's not other people, you're in a much better position to really kickstart your recovery. Self-harm is a hard thing to go through. Now, I know I'm using cutting as the primary example, but there are other types like swallowing stuff, overdosing, burning, cutting, strangulation, head banging. It's just a hard thing to deal with. And I get it, if someone bullies you online, or in real life, and that causes you to self-harm. I can 100% understand why you'd place blame on that situation. But I've, I've been in the position where I've self-harmed, overdosed, drank alcohol, used cocaine, because of what other people have said and done. But rather than accepting it with my responsibility with oh, what I did as a consequence, I blamed them people very publicly and for that I can only apologise. There's nothing I can say or do now that will change what I did. But because, just because I did it doesn't mean I don't take accountability for it. Taking responsibility for yourself is a huge step in the right direction. For example, say you self-harmed because someone said something to you online that upset you. That person that person didn't make you self-harm. You made that decision to self-harm. It's all about accountability. I do hope that if you are self-harming, you find a way to stop, because it's not an easy thing to go through. I will make a video in the future talking about how to stop self-harming, based off my own experience, because I am a year, six months free from self-harm. You know what I'm talking about? A bit. Like I said in every video, I'm not a professional, I have no intention of being professional, I'm not trained to be a professional. In fact, I passed my assignment that I had to redo. I am leaving university with a first class degree in content media and film production, which I think is amazing considering everything that's happened in my life the last eight years. I think it's amazing that I've actually managed to complete this degree. And that doesn't mean I will be graduating in November or December, I can't remember which month it is. And you can guarantee that I'm going to be taking you guys along with me. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.